Hi everybody, in this tutorial, today we will work on JavaScript if else statement. Uh, if else statement are controller statement. So let's explore within learning of JavaScript if else statement. At first, I am opening my Visual Studio code. It will take a little bit time according to your processor speed. Actually, this if else statement is quite similar to C and C. I will explain it simply. And this if else statement is very important for a beginner. Okay. Okay, as you can see, this is my index.html and okay, this is my index.html and as you can see, I have integrated this uh, source index.javascript here. Okay, and this is my JavaScript file. In the JavaScript file, we will write all this code. And we explain this, and we will uh, see this output using a live server Chrome. Okay, I have included this extension, live server extension. Okay, this is my live server. Okay, now then go on my JavaScript file and write something here. Okay, suppose. I am taking a variable a is equal to 5 and the syntax of if is I am writing here if first bracket and have the condition ok condition and if it is true if it is true then this thing will be executed okay this thing this piece piece of code will be will be executed okay and then if false If false, then it will execute it, execute the else condition. Okay, else statement. This. So this is the con this is the uh, statement. This is the as you can see. If and else. This is the sentence basic sentence of uh, else if uh, controller or if else condition. So now let's explain it using a practical example suppose i am taking this number and i have to tell this is this number is uh, positive or negative or zero okay positive or negative simple okay i have to check this if a greater than zero document document dot write positive positive and else else document dot right document dot w r i t right negative okay this is a simple code as you can see it should print positive okay? then control save and then see what happened in my live server okay as you can see it's showing that positive because this condition is true okay? and we if we have multiple condition then we can use our else if 
suppose we want to check it either it is zero or not then i have to use if a is equal to, equal to zero document dot write zero and then else we have to print document dot write negative okay okay oh, actually we can take input from our user prompt using prompt okay enter a number it will say enter a number okay let's see what happened I should run this using a live server I have okay using a live server okay it is asking from uh, the user that enter a number if I enter a number sub zero and enter okay it's saying zero and again if I refresh this if I input a number minus one it will say negative okay and if i say four it will be positive so this is how we can make a simple program using if else to check a number either it is positive negative or zero okay uh, we can also make a great uh, computing machine suppose you, you are asking to enter your enter your mark okay enter your mark and then it will check either it is greater than is equal to 80 then it will say a plus okay and suppose less than is equal to 80 and a greater than is equal to 70 it will say a great okay and again we can we have to use else if control c control v control v we will need a lot of else if and if it is less than 70 less than not is equal to less than okay less than 70 and greater than is equal to 50 then it will say a minus okay and if it is less than 50 and it will, and greater than is equal to 40 and then it will give us output as b okay and else if there is no condition left then it will simply follow the else condition and there is a benefit of using else if because it will check only one of this else if condition okay but if i only use if then it will check all this condition okay so it will simply come here and i see okay then what happened let's check what happened suppose if i am entering a number uh, 56 and it will say a minus because this is here a minus i can also use uh, my console log here to taking output Okay, console dot log. So console dot log. Control C. Control E. Control 
V and control P. And as you can see, uh, I will have output in my console log, okay. Let me open it in my live server. Okay. If I am giving output here, suppose 89, then why it is writing here to write control save. Okay, I didn't change this, okay. Control P, control save. And <coughs> I have to open it using type server. If I again input here 89, then this showing nothing. But if I go on my inspect and on my console, as you can see, it is showing that a plus. And if, again, if I refresh this. And if I again take input that is 45, it is showing B. Okay, so this is how we can make a letter grade calculator. So, this is how we can use EFLS in our program. Thank you all for today. See you in the next tutorial. Asalaamu Alaikum.